Romani Derbajoskin from Box Hill, Ruby Crisp from Ringwood, Charlotte Drake from Williamstown, Alatierney from St. Kevin's, Karima Wakim from Collingwood, Monica Clark from Old Zavs, Sophie Bolmat from Sandringham, Lydia Walston from Box Hill, Noah Sulrock unattached, so she's our invitational runner, possibly our pacemaker, Isabel Young from Essendon, and Pippa Dillon from Box Hill as the rain continues to steadily fall here in Murrumbina. Who are we up to? This is our race number nine of 28 for the night. We've got a few athletes in the red singlets here, so wondering if there are a couple of pacemakers or maybe they've just doubled up because they're a little bit cold. I don't know. I reckon maybe we could see a little bit of a, a flying V formation as we saw in the, uh, the Ineos 159 challenge. Well, what do you think? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For yeah, any yeah. marathon fans out there, maybe we might see a one, two, three leading the way around in lanes one and two. Yeah, I wonder if one's nominated as captain or not. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a... They've all been in red, the Pacers. Is this a new initiative from the Vic Milers Club? I think they've all come out of um, Steve Ellinghouse's squad. So they all seem to be congregating down there. And I think they they might have training partners in the race. I'm not sure, but oh, okay. it's really looking that way. That'd be a good initiative. I think you could Pass be spot on the money, around. Mitch. So the young athlete from St. Kevin's has made a pretty strong start in the middle. And he's Alatierney. Lydia Walston from Box Hill is in the mix as well. So our pace is doing a pretty good job getting out front at the moment. So maybe we are seeing, because uh, so we, we, we saw the leaders and then there was one pacer kind of sitting behind. But um, also Ellie. there's that one pacer out the back as well, unless they're not a pacer. <laughs> no, that, that's, so, what, that's what I'm saying. That's the how the oh, yeah. works. There was the pacer sitting behind him. So if all the other 10 runners is Elliot Kipchoge, then they're just sitting in the middle of the other two. As the back pace maker does just pull out, maybe she was just going for a 200 metre rep at training, potentially. And As does the other one. pace maker <laughs> in the race by herself. So, I don't know, maybe they practiced a little bit more when they did the 159 project. But anyway, Mon Clark's looking strong in the second <laughs> position there, the tall figure. Looks to be running well, conservative bit of energy. Ali Alatierney from St. Kevin's. And in first position is our athlete from Ringwood in Ruby Crisp. She's a strong runner who's had many races under her belt. So pretty much spot on the money there, about 68 seconds through that first lap. So 2.26, the fastest seed time. So, you know, going by our theory, we'd want like a, a 110, a 111 first lap. So certainly put herself in territory for a big PB at the moment. Most of these girls actually. Karima Wakim as well in fourth position in the field. Um, depending if you're counting this pacemaker or not, Mon Clark is overtaking our leader in Ruby Crisp and making her way to the front of the field, clearing a metre or so as she rounds a discus cage with 200 metres to go, James. I'll tell you what, Joaquim looking very dangerous. Yeah. The Collingwood colours oh, look fantastic coming off the bench. She's timed her run to perfection. Mon Clark trying her hardest to hold her off, but Joaquim. She sniffed the finish line. She sniffed that she can take this heat out and have a look at the clock. So 2.26 the seed time, around 2.15 now, 10 seconds to get down this small part of the straight. She'll be going home with a PB for sure. Well done, Karima Wakim. 2.22, 2.23, Monica Clark. And in third position of Ringwood, Ruby Crisp. Our leader just after the bell, so. Huge run from Karima. Fantastic. And I think we're starting to see that trend throughout the night. Those athletes just sitting back, using those paces to just shelter from that little bit of wind. And they're coming off strong. So it looks like a little bit of tailwind coming into the home straight. So if you can time to kick right, it'll, it'll be a good ride home. 